Tux was bored. Bored, bored, bored. The icy expanse of his kingdom stretched out endlessly, a frozen wasteland of monotony. Day after day, the same routine, the same cold, the same silence. It was enough to drive any penguin to the brink of madness. His state-of-the-art ice-cooled PC hummed quietly in his ice cave. A top-of-the-line rig wasted. It was a marvel of penguin engineering, a testament to their ingenuity and resourcefulness. Yet it sat there, underutilized, a mere shadow of its potential. Why? Because all the best games ran on Windows. The allure of high-definition graphics, immersive gameplay, and endless adventures was just out of reach. The Windows logo taunted him, a constant reminder of what he couldn't have. Tux, as the Emperor of the Penguins, was a Linux devotee. His loyalty to the open source movement was unwavering. He believed in the power of community, in the freedom to innovate and share. But this devotion came at a cost. Using wine to play games felt wrong. It was a compromise, a half measure. It was like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. The experience was clunky, frustrating, and ultimately unsatisfying. Like eating krill-flavoured ice cream, it was a poor substitute for the real thing, a pale imitation that left a bad taste in his beak. Tux longed for something more, something better. It was time for a change, a big world-altering change. Tux knew that he couldn't go on like this. He needed to take action, to shake things up, to break free from the chains of mediocrity. Tux stared at his reflection in the icy monitor. He saw a penguin who was tired of the status quo, a penguin who was ready to make a difference. The cold, hard surface mirrored his resolve. He was a penguin of action. A penguin of influence. He had the power to inspire, to lead, to change the world. And he was determined to use that power for good. A penguin with a plan so audacious, so utterly bonkers, it just might work. He had spent countless hours brainstorming, strategizing, and refining his vision. Now, it was time to put that plan into action. He would unite his penguin brethren. He would rally them to his cause, inspire them with his vision of a better future. Together, they would be unstoppable. He would lead them to a world of open source bliss. A world where creativity and collaboration reigned supreme, where innovation was not stifled by corporate greed. He would banish the tyranny of proprietary software forever. No longer would they be at the mercy of faceless corporations. No longer would they be shackled by restrictive licenses. He would make everyone switch to Linux. It would be a revolution, a seismic shift in the digital landscape. And Tux would be at the forefront, leading the charge, changing the world one line of code at a time. The news spread faster than a krill stampede. Emperor Tux, beloved leader and gaming enthusiast, had a proposition. He wanted every penguin, from the youngest chick to the oldest elder, to embrace Linux. He spoke with fiery passion. He argued that Linux was faster, more secure, and infinitely more customizable than that other operating system. He promised a world free from crashes, blue screens of death, and forced updates. A world where penguins controlled their own destiny. A world with better games. The penguins, initially skeptical, were swayed. Who doesn't love customizable software and better games? Sign them up. A collective squawk of agreement echoed across the icy plains. The great Linux Penguin revolution had begun. The first phase was simple gather the hardware. The penguins, with their keen sense of organization and teamwork, knew exactly what they needed to do. They spread out across their icy homeland, collecting every piece of electronic equipment they could find. From old, discarded computer parts to the latest gadgets, nothing was left behind. Their determination was unwavering, and their mission was clear. Penguins fanned out across the globe. Their mission collect every single USB drive they could find. They ventured into bustling cities, quiet suburbs and remote villages. No place was too far or too difficult to reach. They scoured every nook and cranny, leaving no stone unturned. Their journey took them to places they had never been before, but their resolve never wavered. They infiltrated schools, offices, and even the International Space Station. The penguins were masters of disguise, blending in seamlessly with their surroundings. In schools, they posed as students, diligently collecting USB drives from computer labs. In offices, they masqueraded as employees, swiping drives from desks and drawers. And in the International Space Station, they floated weightlessly, securing the most elusive drives. No flash drive was safe. The penguins guarded their precious collection with utmost care. Each drive was meticulously catalogued and stored, ready for the next phase of their plan. They knew that these drives held the key to their success, and they were determined to protect them at all costs. These were no ordinary USB drives, though. Oh no, these drives were special, customised by the most tech-savvy penguins. They had spent countless hours modifying and enhancing each drive, ensuring that they were equipped with the latest technology. These were flipper drives, the pinnacle of penguin engineering. These were flipper drives, specially modified by the most tech-savvy penguins. In their secret workshops, the penguins worked tirelessly, using their expertise to create the perfect tool for their mission. 
They soldered, programmed and tested each drive, making sure that it was ready for the task ahead. Their dedication and skill were unmatched. These drives, loaded with a special Penguin modified version of Linux, were the key to their plan. The Penguins had developed their own version of the operating system, tailored specifically for their needs. It was fast, secure and open source, embodying the very principles that the Penguins held dear. With these drives, they were ready to change the world. Phase two was even simpler to distribute and install. The Penguins, now armed with their flipper drives, set out to share their creation with the world. They traveled far and wide, distributing the drives to anyone who would take them. They visited homes, businesses, and public spaces, spreading their message of open source freedom. The Penguins, masters of stealth and surprisingly adept at using their flippers to type, infiltrated homes and data centers worldwide. They moved silently, their presence barely noticed. In homes, they installed the new operating system on personal computers, ensuring that families could enjoy the benefits of open source software. In data centers, they upgraded servers, enhancing the performance and security of critical systems. With military precision, they replaced every single operating system with their Penguin-approved Linux. The Penguins worked quickly and efficiently. Their movements synchronized like a well-oiled machine. They swapped out hard drives, installed new software, and configured settings, all in record time. Their expertise was evident in every action they took. The world was about to get a lot more open source. The Penguins had achieved their goal and they celebrated their success with joy and pride. They knew that their efforts would have a lasting impact, bringing the benefits of open source software to people everywhere. The future was bright and the Penguins were ready to lead the way. The next morning, the chaos began. It was a day like any other, or so it seemed. The sun rose, casting a golden hue over the sleepy towns and bustling cities. But as the first rays of light filtered through the windows, a strange phenomenon was unfolding. Millions of people woke up to find their computers different. The familiar hum of booting systems was replaced by an eerie silence, followed by a series of unfamiliar beeps and chimes. As screens flickered to life, users were greeted not by their usual desktops, but by an alien interface. Gone were the familiar icons, replaced by a sleek penguin-themed interface. Panic ensued. The once intuitive layout was now a labyrinth of penguin icons and cryptic symbols. Emails, documents and cherished photos seemed to have vanished into the digital ether. What have they done to Solitaire? The cry echoed through countless homes, offices and cafes. The beloved card game, a staple of procrastination and relaxation, was now a bewildering array of tuxedoed birds. Cried a thousand grandmothers in unison. Their morning routine disrupted, they stared helplessly at the screens, their fingers hovering uncertainly over the keyboards. The stock markets crashed as traders stared blankly at their Linux-powered Bloomberg terminals. The financial world, driven by precision and speed, was brought to its knees by the unexpected shift. Charts and graphs were replaced by whimsical penguin animations, leaving analysts in a state of disbelief. Governments ground to a halt, their Windows-based systems rendered useless. Critical operations, from national security to public services, were paralyzed. Officials scrambled to make sense of the new interface, their frustration mounting with each passing moment. The world was in an uproar. Social media platforms were flooded with frantic posts, memes, and conspiracy theories. Hashtags like hash penguin takeover and hash Linux apocalypse trended worldwide. People shared screenshots of their transformed desktops, seeking solace in the collective confusion. News channels, struggling to broadcast with their newly Linuxified systems, screamed about cyber attacks, alien invasions, and the inevitable robot uprising. Anchors, usually composed and authoritative, now appeared flustered and disoriented. The airwaves were filled with speculation and fear-mongering. Little did they know, the culprits were far more adorable and far less interested in world domination. The penguins, with their endearing waddle and playful antics, were the unlikely masterminds behind the global disruption. The penguins, meanwhile, huddled in their ice fortresses, watching the chaos unfold with a mixture of amusement and satisfaction. Their plan was working. They had long observed the human world, fascinated by its complexities and contradictions. Now they had found a way to make their mark. The world was going Linux, one confused human at a time. As the hours passed, a sense of reluctant acceptance began to take hold. Tech-savvy individuals started sharing tips and tutorials on navigating the new system. Forums and online communities buzzed with activity as people banded together to decode the Penguin interface. Schools and universities adapted quickly, turning the unexpected change into a learning opportunity. Students and teachers alike delved into the world of Linux, discovering its potential and versatility. What began as a day of chaos slowly transformed into a journey of discovery. Innovators and developers saw the disruption as a challenge. They began creating new applications and tools, inspired by the Penguin-themed interface. The tech industry, initially paralyzed by the change, 
found a renewed sense of purpose and creativity. Media outlets, once frantic and disoriented, adapted to the new normal. They began broadcasting tutorials and interviews with Linux experts, helping the public navigate the transition. The narrative shifted from fear to curiosity as people embraced the unexpected change. In the end, the Penguin takeover became a catalyst for growth and innovation. The world, once resistant to change, found itself united in the face of the unexpected. The Penguins, having achieved their goal, watched with pride as humanity adapted and thrived. And so, the day that began with chaos ended with a sense of accomplishment. The Penguins had shown the world that even the most unexpected disruptions could lead to positive change. As the sun set, casting a warm glow over the icy landscapes, the Penguins celebrated their success, knowing they had made a lasting impact on the world. The world had gone Linux and, in the process, discovered a new way of thinking, working and living. The Penguins, content with their achievement, returned to their natural habitat, leaving behind a legacy of innovation and adaptability. The story of the Penguin takeover would be told for generations, a reminder of the power of unexpected change and the resilience of the human spirit.